Late in World War II, aircraft like the B-29 Superfortress were able to fly at greater altitudes out of range of conventional anti-aircraft guns. The threat from high-flying jet bombers armed with nuclear weapons led to the development of surface-to-air missiles. The Bristol Bloodhound was in service from the late 1950s till 1990 and was, as far as I know, was never fired in any, um, any war. This airfix kit came out in 1960 and has been released again as part of the Airfix Vintage Classic range. So we have a, a transporter. The launcher with the Bloodhound missile. Um, early Land Rover series model. And some crew and a guard dog as well. I'd never built um, this kit before. This, this is one of the older releases in white plastic, but you can um, enjoy revisit it again. Uh, Airfix have re released this in their vintage classic range, so. Uh, it's a nice little kit to build. I really enjoyed building it up. Just put it here guarding the uh, Lightning Air Base. This is again the early FX 70 second scale Lightning. They've uh, again introduced a newer version of the lightning so that's that's well worth building I did enjoy painting the dog most of all So now we move from the era of Captain Scarlet onto Star Wars. The S75 Davina, or as we in the West call it, the SAM-2 guideline missile, has been fired in wars. It's most famous for shooting down Francis Gary Powers, his U-2 spy plane, in 1960. It has been used in the Vietnam War and all the Middle Eastern wars. The Airfix fit kit first came out in 1973. It says new on there, and there is 1973 on the box. Sadly, the, the moulds for this kit have been lost or damaged, so it has become a collector's item. I made an unboxing video and asked the question, should I build it? And everyone said, yes. So here it is. It's in Egyptian colours, but an eagle-eyed viewer, modeler Mark 172, pointed out that the number plates are actually in Hebrew, so this has obviously been captured by the Israelis. It's another kit I really enjoyed building. I bought a new Hobby Boss kit. This one here on the launcher. This is the 
box artwork. And I just wanted to show one on the trailer and one ready to fire. Look at the other side. I've just set it out with some Vietnam era trucks. This is the airfix kit with the the trailer, the Zill truck. And that's the launcher. The airfix one comes with little sets of wheels. I set it out with the MiG 17 AZ model. So I hope you enjoyed seeing these two Airfix Classics built up. Thanks to all, all of you um, who took the time to comment on the previous video and encourage me to build the uh, Guideway missile. Thank you very much for watching. If you like and subscribe, I'd be really grateful. Just give you a quick tour of the, the layout. Thank you for watching. Take care.